I have to admit that today we're living in a world where there's an Ant-Man movie, and the geek in my heart is giddy with joy. And yeah. so thank you for that. <laughs> were you aware of Ant-Man? Oh, of course. You're a fan. Yeah. Are you kidding me? I mean, so I thought they were going to make a Hank Penn movie, and then they're like, well, it's not Hank Penn. It's, right. And I was like, oh, okay, I get you it. You are a fan. <laughs> oh, you know, yeah. Just to know that. Yeah. For you, what was the initial reaction when they said, we want you to be Ant-Man? I was elated. <laughs> Thrilled. Yeah. Truly. I thought, oh my God, this is so different than anything that I've ever done. Yeah. I love the idea of doing something so different mm -hmm. and... Uh, and I, you know, I, I thought, oh, this will be a challenge. It's going to be a lot of work. Sure. And I jumped at the chance. I was excited. I heard in an interview that your kid wasn't so excited when you found out. No, my kid was excited. <laughs> I think that it got, it got turned around. I think in those interviews that, but he, my, here's the thing. My son has got a very tweaked, funny sense of humor. He's, okay. He was nine, <laughs> and so he likes to say things to, that's going to make me laugh. Yeah. My son is so jazzed for this thing yeah we were at Disneyland yesterday and there's a there's like a preview sure and we went and sat and watched it he'd never seen <laughs> he'd seen the commercials I've never seen that look on his face of like that was, aw that was awesome <laughs> he, he can't wait for this thing that's awesome and oh it's great he came to set yeah. He tried on the helmet. Oh, cool. uh, yeah, and um, and my daughter, she's five. She's still like, sh she's excited. Sure. I don't know. I don't know. She might be a little too young for it. Yeah. yeah. But it's a big deal in my house, and That's my kids cool. are amped. Now I, I have to give you credit. You were good, but I think you're my second favorite Ant Man, because two words that m warmed my heart in this film, Garrett Morris. You're the only person. The only person that has said that. They because got it, and it's very specific. We, no, no, I'm not joking. My friend and I are going to the shuttle, to, to, you know, to the screening, and he goes, I was like, do you think they're going to mention Garrett Morris or anything? And he's like, no. So what did and, you feel when you saw that? Uh, we immediately screamed and high-fived each other. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> and we're like, Garrett Morris! That's a deep cut. Please tell me how that happened. Uh, credit where credit is due. When I had spoken about this with uh, Edgar Wright. Yeah. Edgar Wright was the original director Absolutely. of this film. Edgar Wright said, it'd be fun to put Garrett Morris in here somewhere. That's Edgar. Uh, and last but not least, because the man is a legend, what is your favorite Michael Douglas movie? Oh, man. That's... I mean, the guy produced One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Yep. It's very important to remember that, which <laughs> is one of my favorite movies of all time. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I will say this. Uh, when, personally, two of my very favorite Michael Douglas movies were Falling Down and The History Boys. Uh, I, I'm a... I'm a big fan of both of those movies. Yep. History Boys is is like one that like people don't talk about all that yeah. much. I saw that in the theater and went, that was incredible. Falling Down actually had an imprint on me and it's something I think about when I work on other things. That's my answer is Falling Down. Falling Down. Pleasure meeting you. Right on. You too, man. <laughs>